the next video so today i will show you how to play audio and video inside your react native app with react native's new architecture using fabric without using any third party library so first of all i have created a default react native project next what you have to do is you have to enable the new architecture so if you are on and so for android you just have to search for new arc enabled so search for new arc enabled make this as true for ios cd to your ios directory and run this command so you might face two issues one of the issue is something like this so if you face an issue just run this inside the root of your react native project inside your terminal and again run uh, this command and if you face an issue something like this so i already have a video on my channel explaining how to resolve this issue but you can try something like this try running this command or you want to uh, try having a look at the other answers as well they might resolve your issue but once you are able to successfully run this command just run yarn ios or yarn android and inside your metro bundler you should see fabric colon true which means the new architecture has been enabled for your react native app next you have to go to fabric native components and here we have to create this folder but we have to create this folder inside the project and not outside as specified in the documentation otherwise you will face issues so what i have done is that i have created this uh, folder rtn my player and this is inside the react native project and here i have created android ios and gh directory and inside the gh directory it tells us to create this file so again i have created this file uh, everything remains the same copied it from the documentation only thing change is this name of course we will passing a url and uh, this thing will handle both audio and video so you don't have to worry about it you can pass audio file mp3 file or mp4 file don't worry about it next we have to create this package.json file again it should be a sibling to your js folder and not inside your js folder uh, again i have copied it from the documentation over here the only thing that has been changed is this name this name uh, this name okay next you have to create this pod spec file again uh, copied from documentation only thing that has been changed is this name next for android you have to create build.gradle file again i have copied this from documentation only thing that has been changed i have added kotlin dependencies over here because i want to use kotlin add this kotlin dependency and for uh, implementing audio and video i am using media 3 so media 3 is the new library recommended by google to implement audio video in your app you don't directly have to use exo player library so media 3 uses exo player internally uh, under the hood but it hides a lot of complexity for you so if you have used exo player for android you might be knowing that you have to write a bunch of code to make it work but uh, fortunately with media 3 uh, those things has been uh, drastically uh, you know reduced for us so we don't have to write much code and as the time of this recording media 3 library still is in rc02 i think it should be stable uh, soon like in a month or two and i don't think there will be any breaking changes as such so if you are trying to implement uh, audio video in your library for android it is recommended to use media 3 that's what google recommends you so do not use uh, those ex directly use an exo player library you can use it if uh, this media 3 library does not satisfy your needs but again that would be a little complex and next you have to create this src main java com rtn player folder and for now you just have to create this file myplayerpackage.kt and here you can just copy paste this code only thing that you have to change is instead on line number level you have to do like this the reason is that you have not uh, ran code generation yet so you have to return empty list for now on line level okay so we have already done this done this done this done this okay done this as well now we have to run code generation so this is the command for running code generation again we will not use double dot we will use single dot because this folder is already inside our project so go i will go to app.tsx i already have those commands so you have to run this okay this uh, comma should not be there just run this uh, inside the root of your react native project inside your terminal next what you have to do is 
once you run that command uh, you have to do cd dot dot that means you have to come uh, outside your react native project yeah i don't know why this is taking so much time okay something went wrong come on okay anyways uh, you know what i mean right so after you run this command inside the root of your react native project just do cd dot dot okay it will kick you outside of your react native project okay finally thank god so here you just have to run cd dot dot and then you have to run this command okay but the changes are here it should be your folder name so you can see my folder name is our or project name whatever you call it this should be a project name project name project name so whatever is the uh, for folder name which you have created for your react native project next this should be your folder name which you have created over here okay so just be careful with this command here they have not added the project name or for my app because this folder is outside the my app folder inside the uh, for the documentation next for okay so we have okay before i forget so go to your main android folder as well go to build.gradle and you have to add this kotlin version and you have to add this class path as well and go to app build.gradle you have to add this apply plugin kotlin android as well as you have to add this as well okay you don't have to worry about this like this was for my own debugging purposes you don't have to add it over here but you have to add it in the build.gradle of rt and my player which we have already added you can see over here okay also in rt and my build.gradle make sure you change this name huh? otherwise again you will face a lot of issues now once this that is done you have to go to your ios create this rtn my player dot h again i have copy pasted it from documentation okay we don't need this like don't worry about the comments this again was part of my debugging so you just need to add this dependency avkit and just change the name over here next inside uh, rtn my player manager dot mm again check the extension it is not dot m dot mm objective c plus plus file again copy pasted everything from documentation only thing that has been changed is this file name okay and this is the url which is send as prop next inside rtn my player dot mm again i have copied it from documentation the file name should be changed accordingly over here as well as over here over here over here and i am taking a ui view now i will tell you why i am taking a ui view uh, and next i am just initializing the ui view and make sure you like just remember i am uh, making the ui views background color as red so uh, this would be i will let you know why i am making it as red and next inside the update props okay inside your update props you have to so what we are first doing is we are first taking the url text converting it to uh, an string then an string is converted to an url then we are taking the av player uh, which is uh, like to play audio or video inside for ios then av player controller and here we are actually what we are doing is that we are opening another view controller to play this audio or video okay uh, so you will get all the controls like the play pause button next back forward back all those kind of stuff the progress bar or seek bar whatever you call it and here again copied from documentation only thing changes this file name so that's it for ios another important thing for ios is open the main ios uh, folder uh, inside in xcode make sure you go to the app name go to general scroll down go to framework libraries and embedded content and make sure you add this avkit.framework click on the plus button search for avkit and it will sh show you avkit.framework just click on it double click on it or single click whatever and make sure this is present inside your framework otherwise it won't work you will face lot of issues okay i think ios is done okay we have already done this okay for android again you can if you want you can run this command 
then you have to cd inside your android directory and run this command okay so it will generate code gen for your android folder as well so the, for android the code gen is found inside node modules in our case it would be rtn my player android build generated source code gen okay now we have to uh, do the required files for android as well so src so here i have uh, like if you want so what i have basically done is that first i have taken a linear layout and here i have just initialized the exo player and the player view which we get here we are uh, just making sure the linear layout uh, takes the available width and height then we have initialized the player view added the player view to our linear layout and once we get the url i am just initializing the player view and this hide system ui what it does is that it hides the status bar and the bottom uh, you know the back button which you have on android it hides that as well okay so we, again i have copy pasted so if you just search for exo player android code sample uh, like uh, google has a great code sample on it which will explain each and every detail so you don't so even i have copy pasted this code from the documentation like i am not even an expert on this okay so this is the code for exo player now inside my player manager again i have copy pasted this from documentation only thing that has been changed is this file name accordingly okay and make sure this is rt and my player or whatever folder name you have defined and this should be url the prop which we are setting and we are calling the setup player once we get uh, the url so here you can see in my player .kt we are calling this setup player okay now in my player package.kt instead of returning empty list you have to modify it to collection dot singleton list my player manager react context so yeah this is for so we have done this for android now again you have to run this command go to app.tsx just run this command okay and uh, for ios cd to ios and run this command as well because we want to create a pod of your rtn my player folder once that is done now to use it you can just write something like this and you can pass any url so this can be an mp4 or as well as an mp3 url as well okay so pass any url depending on it it will play audio or video you don't have to worry about it and now to show you a video about it so so this is for android audio okay can't be found okay maybe some bug so here you can see i'm playing the audio i am not sure if you guys can hear it or not but there is definitely some audio and here you can see uh, there is uh, the uh, play pause button as well so now i have paused it again played it paused it played it okay so this is for android audio and uh, this is how android i'm not sure over there i guess there is a bug in this quick time player so this is for video as well i can play a video so here you can see i'm moving the progress progress bar or seek bar now i can play pause as well if you want again i have kept it as vertical but if you want you can change the orientation the, uh, make sure you add the internet permission in your android manifest as well i think that is by default present in react native app but yeah just to be careful uh, so for ios i will first show you the video now here you can see okay so this is the video okay i missed some part so once you run the app you will for a moment yeah you i told you right so there is this uh ui view with a red color so you will see this red color i think uh, you can easily hide it like you can change this color make it transparent or once the user closes the media player you can automatically hide this component as well like there are uh, multiple callbacks which you get from react navigation or even uh, from react native itself so you can hide this component so you can hide this component accordingly okay so that's not a big deal so here you can see you again ios also provides this play pause the seek bar as well you don't have to worry about anything same for audio as well so here you can see that as soon as the view loads you will first see the red 
background but you can easily change the background color again that's not a huge issue and here you can play the audio so here you can see once you click on it it will show the play pause button and it hides after some time so yeah again i'm not sure if you guys can see or hear the audio or not but yeah so that's it i guess i don't think i have forgot anything again make sure you add this avkit.framework that is important uh, yeah i guess that's it thank you for watching bye